This dual row bearing was removed out of a 2.5 motor that was used in a spec Boxster car. It actually suffered a failure from a broken rod bolt, uh, but as you can see, it was going to suffer a uh, intermediate shaft failure in very short order. It's kind of hard to see, but you can tell that the seal on the bearing from the inner race uh, moving back and forth has been chewed up, and you can literally you can see the, all the motion. You can just about pull that center race out and you can kind of hear it that it, it kind of rattles like a bucket of marbles. So you could imagine that when this motor was idling it probably had a lot of noise coming from the general vicinity of the intermediate shaft. Kind of like the death groan or rattle that we've been talking about to look for. But as you can tell, this this would have been easily deductible had you removed the intermediate shaft uh, hub flange. You would have seen all this wear, and you would have easily been able just to grab the end and wiggle the race. And you would have easily been able to tell that this motor needed a rebuild. The other thing we found on disassembly and pulling this out of the intermediate shaft, there were metal particles. The whole tube was chocker block full of this small little metal debris, as you can see here. Since, as you can tell, this seal is already bad, we're going to pop it out so we can show everybody out. And you can see all that was holding this intermediate shaft bearing together was the seal. As you can see, the uh, all the balls have actually, this part actually broke, and all the balls are loose in there. It's hard to tell, but you can tell had that seal actually not been there, it would have total, all the balls would have come out. As you can see here, we have a dual row IMS bearing. We removed it out of an IMS that was in good condition. As you can see here, there is n n almost no discernible play in the shaft. You spin it, you can see all the balls are in their proper location. The carrier, every, it's assembled, it looks the way it should in here. Again there's no play. You spin it over, there is little or no resistance in here other than from the rear seal dragging on the shaft as it's spinning. Also, you can see if you look really closely, which you can't really tell uh, with this video, that the balls actually have no pitting and they're nice and shiny and smooth meaning that there's no uh, corrosion go going on in here or uh, no ir irregular wear. This bearing, uh, technically, if it was still in the shaft with that seal removed, would have much better cooling and lubrication and would probably be good for further service.